guys, welcome to our video. We're gonna fake this mega drummer. So this one in the back. So this this and don't like this super hard. And don't like this hard, okay? It's your turn. Thank you, son. Hi everyone, welcome back to our small engineer for tutorial. Today Hi, we have everyone. this uh Ruby RLT 26 CSN. Yes, and it belongs to my friend, uh a car mechanic. And a feather, and a feather, and a feather for my pink slip. I have to fix this one for him. Yeah. So I cover with you too how to how rebuild to the carburetor. How to also, fix this? Yes, I also covered the video how to replace if you cover like the it. Video. And this time I'm going to show you how to hey, hey, replace hey, the carburetor. Hey, hey. And let's get started. Let's get started. Hmm? Hmm. Okay, to remove the carburetor, remove the air filter cover. Just squeeze the two tabs. And using the T20 Torx, remove the two screws that mount the carburetor. Take off the screws. Now take off the, remove the intake fuel line from the fuel filter line and also the return fuel line which is connected to the primer pump. Remove the throttle cable by pushing the, this part so you can And undo the the circle cable. Remove the circle cable, and then using the spanner, just undo this part here, and then just undo the the bolt. So that's the. Old carburetor. Okay, so we have to replace this with the new, with the new one. So we have to do in the opposite way. So just screw the the throttle cable back. And connect the hook into that nut there. So adjust the this screw just enough for the tension of the the throttle cable. Okay, connect the the fuel line back. Let's insert a fuel line, let's show the fuel line. So we'll use a lubricant to so just insert the fuel line there. And this, the retaining clip 
just place the return clip back. So also the the intake fuel line from the fuel filter. Okay. So that's about like that. Okay. So we have a new manifold gasket. Just insert the sorry. Just insert the screw with the new manifold gasket just to guide uh, it's easy to in mount the gasket when you have the screw guide and just manually initially screw the the mounting screw the carburetor then you can either use the power tool to finalize but don't tie it all the way and use a do it manually to tighten the the screw And place the air filter back and the air filter cover and that's it hi guys thanks go. for watching our video to subscribe to this video and subscribe to love tiktoks and subscribe the thing bell and just click 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 the left comments over there Hi everyone, thanks for watching our video tutorial for today. I hope you enjoy and found it useful. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more videos, upcoming videos, and we will do more videos in the future. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. And thanks for watching and see you next time. Say bye bye. See you next time, bye bye. See you later.